So I do a lot of consulting, and a customer of mine just notified me that they successfully deployed over 4,000 applications and 1,000 app updates with some new tool called Application Workspace, which is kind of incredible because they only started in that role three weeks ago. So I got them to help document the whole process with me. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you how they did it all, how it works, and how you can deploy over 4,000 apps in one click. So here's our goals. We're going to set up your new app workspace, then I'll show you how you can get your 4,000 apps ready to go, and just to show you how easy it is, I'm gonna deploy AutoCAD, because if you can deploy AutoCAD, you can deploy pretty much anything else. And we're gonna start here in Entra ID. Go to your app registrations, and then click to create a new one. Let's call it Recast Application Workspace, who's sponsoring this video and they're formerly known as Liquid. Application Workspace is Liquid rebranded plus a bunch of new goodies. Now for the redirect URI, select here web for your platform, and then you wanna put in your zone name, which is gonna look like this. You just need to change the domain name here, and that's your zone. Then go ahead and click register. Now you wanna copy the application ID and the tenant ID to your notepad like this, and then go on the left to your certificates and secrets. Create a new secret, and your description can basically be anything, and set your expiration to match any security requirements you have for this sort of thing, and then click add. Now you wanna copy the secret value, and put that on your notepad, and then go on the left to API permissions. This will come from the Microsoft Graph, and these will be application permissions. Then you wanna search for directory.read.all then search for user.read.all, and then you wanna look for groupmember.readwrite.all, and with those added, don't forget to click for admin consent. Now go over to your recast application workspace, zone, and sign in. Now at the top here, you wanna to go to manage, and then go down to where it says identity sources, then click to create one from Entra ID, give it a name, and then set your display name that your users are actually gonna see, and then click next and we can fill it out with your application ID here, client secret from your notepad. And then you wanna click fetch OAuth two URLs and then drop in your tenant ID and click confirm and then finish. Now you wanna click synchronize at the top and that'll bring over all of your IDs. And once that's done, you can click your users button and there you go. Next you wanna pick what users are going to be your app admins. Then you wanna click the access policy and then the three dots over here and select administrators. And then click confirm and save. Now you wanna click your person over here on the top right and then log out, so sign back in and go back to manage. And let's knock out your first app so you can see how easy it is. And this starts with the connectors. Click create and there's a bunch of different sources that you can choose from. And the setup details are very similar from one to the next. So we're gonna start off really easy with the Microsoft Store. Just click here to accept the terms and click next. Give it a name and the direction here is going to be pull on demand. And you'll have multiple stages here that you can pick from, from dev all the way through to prod. That way you can configure and test everything before releasing it to all of your users. Finally, we have the prefix. And this is gonna help you stay organized once you have hundreds or thousands of apps. So I like to use a naming convention like this one so I can visually sort them all. Click next and then on this screen, leave the defaults as managed. And that way all of the app updates will be done for you automatically. So click next and the defaults are good here too. Click next and there we go. First connector is finished. Now, when you wanna find an app inside a connector, you go to resources. And over on the right, you can do a search for any app. So I'll pick something really simple like VLC. Then just double click it. And now we're gonna bring the app from the store into your application workspace. And you see here, we've got the default settings from your connector, but you can change them on an app by app basis if you need to. On the next page, we have the dependencies for the app. In this case, we don't have any. And on the next page, you can set the entitlements for the users, which we're gonna skip for now, and I'll show you how to do that later. Click next, and then we can start to bring the app in. And if we click on packages right over here at the top, one app done. Now that you know the process for an application like VLC, 
AutoCAD is just as easy. So let's go back to manage and we're gonna add another connector. And this time we're gonna choose the liquid setup store. Let's call this the application workspace dash windows because we'll handle Mac apps in another connector in just a minute. And everything else is like before. Set your stage and your prefix, something like AWW, which means that this is from the app workspace for Windows. And here in the settings, we want the installers and portable apps, which are apps that can run without being installed, and also shortcuts. Then you wanna scroll down and include the install, uninstall, and all the shortcuts, and whatever languages you want. And we've just got here all of the Windows settings selected. Click Next, and then click Finish. And with that done, there's the list of all of your apps. Scroll all the way to the bottom and you can see that there are almost 4,000 apps just in this one store. So go back up to the top and search for AutoCAD. And there are also multiple versions of AutoCAD here that you can pick from. So let's refine this to AutoCAD 2025. And then select it just like you did VLC. Click next on the overview and there's no CVEs here for this app. But when you click next, we have a whole list of dependencies. And we need to bring each one of these dependencies in so that AutoCAD can work. So just double click on the first one, which is .NET, and then we repeat the process. Go through, next, 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 add any dependencies that you see, and just repeat that process all the way until you're done when this took me to click through the whole thing in less than five minutes. Now, of course, clicking all of these things is kind of annoying, so I've talked with the folks over at Recast who are working on an update to bring all of these things in automatically, so stay tuned. And there is AutoCAD along with the other 13 application dependencies. So let's get this app entitled. And we'll also switch over to light mode, which might make it easier for some of you to read it. So click on AutoCAD and then go to entitlements, search for the particular user that you want to have this. And now we have a lot of options. You can publish this to the catalog or a workspace. Now the catalog is, if you think of a configuration manager's software center, that's the catalog. It's a list of applications that are available to the users, but they're not forced on them. Now the workspace option is a little bit different. That's more giving the users something that you want them to have in their workspace already. But there are also ways to auto install. And we do that by clicking the events up here and adding a trigger something like refresh. Then we select to install as our option and then continue. And that's it. We can jump over to my laptop where I have the recast agent already set up and I'm logged in here as Batman. And when I click refresh at the top, there's all my AutoCAD applications. And you can see here it's downloading everything locally. And once that's done, it'll perform the installation. And there we go. Now you can set up your license, however that's done. And then you can get to work. Now let's go back to the admin side and then we'll go back up to manage and then we'll add another connector choosing the liquid setup store again, accept the terms and we'll give it a name, something like this, setting the stage and the prefix and we'll keep it all managed just like before. And then we wanna check all the settings like before, but this time unchecking windows and checking Mac. Scroll all the way to the bottom, click next. And then at the top, go to resources, and there's over 1,500 Mac apps. So search for something you want, like Parallels, and then you can double click it and bring it into the store, just like before, and you're done. And if I jump over to a Mac real quick, you can see the same exact user experience that you can have anywhere else where the Recast Universal Client is installed. And you can launch the same exact apps the same exact way. And you even have a way to hide apps that aren't compatible with the current platform that you're signed into. Back in your workspace zone, go to manage, then user settings. Scroll down and uncheck to show disabled apps. Then scroll to the bottom, click save, and jump back to your client, click refresh, and there you go. And now when I entitle an app like Parallels, it shows up on my Mac client, just like everything else would in Windows. So we've got all the apps from the Microsoft Store and from the Windows side and for the Mac, but it doesn't stop there. You can also add Recast right into Teams just over here and you get the same experience. Or you could be doing this on Azure Virtual Desktop, which of course works across all your platforms. And you can even set up conditions. That way the app might launch locally or it could use AVD if you're working remotely. 
and that way your users can still access AutoCAD and communicate back to your own licensed server. And all of your events can also be tracked and integrated right here into Azure Log Analytics. And that's it. That's how Recast Application Workspace helped my customer get to 4,000 apps deployed super fast, and it can help you too. In fact, you should watch this next video to see how you can set up all of those advanced scenarios. And happy learning.